Maybe you lost all your strength, you lost all your health, and you were struggling. Because of your own sins, because of your own wickedness, maybe you lost all your properties. And maybe you are thinking, this is the end of my life, this is the last day, or this is the last last days of my life. But I want to rem remind you that even today, Jesus is ready to forgive you, to save you, and to restore everything that you lost. Jesus didn't tell to this thief, you have spoiled all your life, and you are coming, before you die, you are coming to kill him. Jesus didn't tell to this thief that you spoiled all your life and you are coming now when you are going to die. You never came and you never followed with me with my disciples. And, and now you are in a problem. This is why you are asking me. Jesus didn't say this. Immediately Jesus accepted. Today you will be with me in paradise. My brothers and sisters, how much ever you have lost your your life, you have spoiled your life, Jesus is still waiting for you. He is ready to forgive any sin. And he is ready to receive you with him. This is the second word that he spoke. He is ready to save you anytime. And the third word that he spoke on the cross is in John chapter 19. Verse 26 and 27. So when Jesus was on the cross, there was his mother standing there, and only one this one of his disciples was standing there. And that disciple was John. And he was the youngest of all the disciples. And he's always very close to the heart of Jesus. And he was also at the cross and the mother was also at the cross. The mother and, and the disciple was at the cross. And then Jesus was looking at his mother and he is giving the responsibility of his mother to, it, to one of his disciples. And he's uh, 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 verse 26 when Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing there by, he said, Dear woman, here is your son. And he told the disciple, Here is your mother. From this word, we can understand how much responsible Jesus was to his family. He was about to die and then he doesn't want her mother to be helpless. And 
He's taking, he's showing his responsibility on his mother. Because wherever Jesus went, his mother followed him. And now Jesus is going to heaven and his mother is helpless. So Jesus wants to show his responsibility to her mother. Many times we we are so proud that we are doing the Lord's work. Many times we are so proud that we are praying and we are flowing in the spirit. And we forget <coughs> the responsibility of our family. This is not the God's way. <coughs> when, when your family is suffering back in Nepal or here or somewhere, you, you are living a happy life. Your old mother and your old father is dying without food and you are enjoying your life with all kinds of worldly things here. There are many parents crying and the children are are rich and they are enjoying their life. The Bible says, honor your mother and your father that you might have a long life. So when you honor your parents, God will bless you with a long life. You cannot say that I am doing the Lord's ministry, I am active in the church, and I am doing all these kinds of great things, but I don't care for my family, I don't provide for my wife, I don't care for my husband. When you don't take care of your family, when you don't provide for them, uh, what they need, that means you, your, 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 your ministry is in vain. Jesus has done a great ministry than anyone else in the world. But he didn't leave his mother lonely and he didn't leave his mother helpless. God has given us physical responsibilities in this world. You are responsible to your wife, you are responsible to your husband, you are responsible to your children. And then you are responsible to your employer. And then you are responsible to your church. You cannot release all these responsibilities. You, you cannot, uh, don't care about all these responsibilities and say that I am a good believer, I am with the Lord. So you have to understand your responsibility. This is what Jesus is teaching us from the cross. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 22. <coughs> so, yeah. Listen to your father who gave you life and do not despise your mother when she is old. And later you can read more scriptures because I don't have so much time. There are, there are many things. Uh, hidden there. In the same chapter? Ah, in the same chapter. I want to ask you a straight question. Is your family happy about you? 
are they satisfied about the responsibility that you are taking for them? Maybe they are in Nepal, maybe they are in India, maybe they are in Israel, anywhere. But you need to take your responsibilities about, about your husband, about your wife, about your children, about your old parents. If you are not taking like this today, but, but as as you hear the word of Jesus on the cross, you go home today, this evening, and call them and 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 tell them a word of love. And in this word, I also want to extract a spiritual meaning. If you see, mother is the church. In spiritual sense, physically we have to take care of our, our physical mothers, but in spiritual sense, mother means church. And John, who is standing beside Jesus, represents the leadership or the pastor of the church. So when Jesus is going to heaven, he is giving the responsibility of the church to the leader of the church. Until I come back and take my church, you have to take care of this, this church. And the church has to live with the with the leader and the leader has to take care of the church this is why when um, uh, after jesus resurrected he appeared to the disciples at the shore of galilee and after jesus resurrected he appeared to his disciples uh, in the seashore of Galilee. And maybe you remember that he was asking Peter, uh, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, Lord, you know that I love you. Then he is telling, okay, then feed my sheep. You are going to be the leader. You are going to the to be the pastor. So take care of my sheep. So this also shows the spiritual relationship between the pastor and the church. The church has to stand with the pastor, and the pastor has to take care of the church. This is your mother and this is your son. And the fourth word that Jesus spoke on the cross. Matthew chapter 27. 46 and 47. Yes, 27, 46. In Bajitira, Yeshu Yosu Badira, Tuna Sole Karabu Halo, Ilo Ilo Lava Sakatuni, or Tathe for Meshur, Yemira for Meshur, the Padamalatina Tatna, Boyakota. This is the fourth word that Jesus spoke on the cross. You bought a Yosaka to come to the Amma Cross, Kusma, Bolivia. This is the Hebrew word Eloi Eloi Lama Sabatani. You say you Eloi Eloi Lama Sabatani, you say you Hebrew Sabatani. My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? So in this, it says that uh, Jesus cried out in a loud voice. Even when he was suffering on the cross, he took strength and he started to shout, My Lord, my Lord, why have thou forsaken me? Let us go deep into this word and think, did Father forgive Jesus? For, uh, I mean, uh, forsake Jesus? 
अनि हामी राम्रोसँग गम्भीर हाम्रो टिम हेर्ने छौँ बुझ्दै छौँ के साँच्चै नै पिता पिताले पर्व प्रभुलाई त्याग्नु भएको त यस ही फर सेक ओ मलाई त्याग्नु भएको दिस इज व्हाई ही वाज क्राइंग लाउडर त्यस कारण गर्दा मा चाहिँ एकदम आवाज कराएर एकदम घा चिच्चाएर पर पुकार्दा पुकार्नु भएको मेनी पीपल डजन्ट नो व्हाट हैज हैपेन्ड ऑन द क्रॉस अनि कति जनाले थाहा छैन कि क्रूसमा के भयो भन्ने कुरा इन द गार्डन अफ इडन व्हेन एडम एन्ड ईव सिन म्यान वाज वाज कास्ट आउट फ्रॉम द गार्डन बिकॉज़ ही इज फुल ऑफ सिन जब इडन र हवा आदम र हवाले बगैचामा पपा गरे अनि उनी आफ्नो पनि बगैचाबाट उनीहरूलाई निस्कारेको थियो निस्कासित गरेको थियो बगैचाबाटलाई थपाइएको थियो उनीहरूको पापले गर्दा and there was a big gap between god and man man cannot reach god and god cannot reach man so you this pachi te hamro parmeshwar pita ra manchhu bhitra thule eura phadal bhayo thule eura gap bhayo hai tini parmeshwar manchhu sanga manchhu parmeshwar bhetra sakdaina thi because god is holy and man is sinful they cannot come together you know when parmeshwar pavitra hunthyo ani manchhu le paap gulo thyo paap gulo thyo unar sanga chai paina sakdaina thi god is like fire and man is like hay and if fire and hay comes together the fire will burn the hay अनि मानिसहरु चाहिँ परमेश्वरको चाहिँ आगो जस्तो अनि मानिसहरु चाहिँ पराल जस्तो है अनि पा अनि पराल र आगो र पराल सँग जङ्ग आए भने पराल चाहिँ जलेर भस्म हुन्छ खत्म हुन्छ पराल सो दिस इज व्हाई फादर गॉड ही हैज पेन इन हिज हार्ट दैट ओ द पीपल दैट आई मेड इन माय ओन इमेज टू बी माय सन्स एंड डॉटर्स दे हैव बीन कास्ट आउट बिकॉज़ ऑफ देयर सिन अनि पिता चाहिँ एकदम दुखी हुनुहुन्छ है जस्तै चाहिँ मैले मैले यो मानवता दिन मेरो छोरा छोरी भनेर सृष्टि गरे तर यो चाहिँ मेरो बगैचा भने नाटक नगर मेरो बाहिर तिनीहरू विश्वास गर्छ मलाई पाप के कारण गर्दा एन्ड ही वान्ट्स टु ड्र देम अगेन क्लोजर टु हिम त्यस कारण पिता चाहिँ उहाँले फेरि आफ्नो नजिक उनीहरूलाई नजिक ल्याउन चाहनुहुन्छ ही वान्ट्स अगेन टु एम्ब्रेस देम अनि उहाँले फेरि पनि ल्याएर उनीहरूले लिएर फेरि अङ्गालो महल जानु हुन्छ बट हाउ क्यान इट बी पोसिबल तर यो कसरी सम्भव छ त they they were full of sins and the papi papi ko hindi na sa and and the bible says and also many hindu vedas they say that where there is a sin they they need a blood sacrifice right ani hame bible le dharma shastra le bataunchha ani hindu har hindu har ko vedale bhanchha ki jahan paap cha tya cha rakh chaincha bhanne kura blood is the only way that can cleanse the sin kina ki rakh mate paap le dhune chaura matra ko paayo ki tya cha rakh do but but the blood of animals cannot Keep uh, or cannot forgive completely the sin of man. Are you talking about possible, 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 possible or not? Because I, because you believe man is the father, full of the father, and sometimes you know, sometimes. In the olden days, they used to sacrifice the animals just because they want to escape from the fiery wrath. Fiery um, uh, punishment of the law, of the law. And why are we having no? Why are we not making money? 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 But it was not helpful to completely take away the sins of the human beings. Just like a man of that, the Pope the poor people met on the day of the Lord, they were not there. Now Jesus is on the cross. I want to go to the cross now. And the Father is looking at human beings and Jesus. And he told me to say, "Man shall not die, and he told me to say, 'Hey, the Lord.'" On one side, Jesus. On one side, all the. Uh, uh, crores of human beings. Hey, one party, one progression. Unta, and other party. They are quarter of quarter. Man is a man. Man is a man. We all know that Jesus is holy, and he doesn't have any sin. I am sure that that is the point of unta. The one who is part of the man. But when he was hanging on the cross, he was full of sin. That is why we are so close to the Lord. That is why we are part of the Purnati. The reason was the sins of the human beings. He has taken over on his body. So God is looking at the human beings and also looking at Jesus. Now human beings look like holy and good, but Jesus looks like completely sinful. है अनि यसले गर्दा चाहिँ मान्छे चाहिँ एकदम पवित्र है देखिने राम्रो देखिने तर पवित्र चाहिँ पापी जस्तो देखिने बिकज अल द सिन्स अफ द ह्युमन बीइंग्स दे वर दे वर कास्ट on the body of Jesus Jesus took them on him you know sapai manche ko sapai paap ko sapai kura chha prabhu yesu ma rakhieko thyo usko jivan ma manche kura dinu bhayo moknu bhayo prabhu yesu le moknu bhayo thyo so the same way that he did in the garden of eden god did at the cross also ani jasari parmeshwar le prabhu yesu le thyo parmeshwar le aadu do bhakti sanga garnu bhayo thyo kura chha aadu parmeshwar le cross ma garnu bhayo when he saw adam with full of sin he couldn't tolerate him so he sent him away जब उसे तो आदम ने पूरा पाप ने भरी को देखियो तो हम इसलिए बोले कि बगैर जाओगे तो पाई दी। And in the in the cross also uh, until then Jesus was uh, God was holding the hand of Jesus leading him and doing all these things but when he saw Jesus was full of sins then he forsaken he left him. 
Would you please one second? Ah. Uh, at the cross. Yeah. Until then, God was with him. But when he saw that all the sins of human beings came on Jesus, Jesus looked cursed, cursed. Jesus looked completely with sin. Then God rejected him on the cross. And you know what? He embraced the man. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 On the cross, he rejected Jesus, he forsake Jesus, and he embraced man. Otherwise, we would not have these services today. There's no hope for us to go to heaven if he has not done that. This is why Jesus couldn't bear the, the rejection of the Father. He couldn't bear separation from the Father. This is why he cried out loud, My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? Jesus and God, they had to separate on the cross. I will also tell you another thing. Every time Jesus prayed, he prayed, My Father, my Father, my Father. But when he was shouting this, this cry, he was calling him, My God. My God. Every time he called him, my father, my father, my father and me are together. He, uh, we, we, we do always together. But now there was a big gap. And now he is not there enough to call him father. Because of your sin and my sin, he was separated from the Father. And he was calling, My God, my God, why have And there are three more scriptures, three more words I want to quickly. Uh, the fifth word that Jesus spoke on the cross is on in John chapter 19. Verse 28. Uh, the fifth word that Jesus spoke was, I am thirsty. And uh, I don't have so much time to explain the scriptures, but Jesus many times, he said, he called the people who are thirsty actually. Those who are writing, you can write John chapter 7 verse 37. Here, Jesus is called, whoever is thirsty, come to me, I will give them the living water. Come on, the one who wants to give the living water to the whole world, now he says that he is thirsty. What is the secret behind? And in John chapter 4, uh, from verse 6, you see that Jesus was at the at the well of Jacob. From verse 6. 
In Samaria, he was at the well of Jacob. And this uh, Samaritan woman, she came uh, to draw the water. And Jesus asked her, uh, would you please give me, a water, give me water to drink? And the Samaritan woman said, you are a Jew, I am a Samaritan, how can you ask me to give the water? And then Jesus said, if you know who I am, then you will ask me and I will give you the living water. What is this? Then she is thinking like, if you can give me the water, why you are asking me the water? Yeah, there is something deep in this. So, and we can also remember that when Israelis were coming from Egypt in the wilderness, they were thirsty and uh, they didn't have water. And God told to Moses to, to speak with the stone that the water may come out. Yeah, yeah. And then when Moses hit the stone, the, the, the rock broke and the water came out. This is the rock that is Jesus. And he provided, he provided water for all these lacks of people. This Jesus who has provided water for these lacks of people now on the cross he says I'm just. So we have to understand that physically he is thirsty, it's okay. Because since last night he didn't drink anything, he didn't eat anything. But spiritually he is also thirsty to save him. He is thirsty for the souls that are running into the into the hell. In our country, in India, in Nepal, in our countries, we see there are guards who are thirsty for the blood of human beings. But Jesus is thirsty to save you, to make you well, and to uh, bring you into the salvation of Jesus, of, of God. He's not thirsty for your blood, he's not thirsty for your money, he's not thirsty for anything that you that you have. He's thirsty for your soul. His cry and his thirst is that my son and my daughter, they should not die and go to hell. This is his thirst. So if you have not yet become the disciple of Jesus, if you have not yet saved, then when you come to Jesus, you are fulfilling his thirst. When you when you receive his salvation, then you are fulfilling his thirst. That means that you are giving him what? 